Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Papadopoulos here with a, well, kind of an ex explanation and a demonstration, I will call it. And by now, if you're into applied energetics, you more or less probably know about the Super Sorn Drive. Well, I've seen a lot of videos about it, and i actually seen Sorn's Super Sorn Drive, and... It's just not correct. I mean, it doesn't look all that right, now, at least to me. This way, this is in 3 Series, is the most compact way to do it. And by using deep storage units, it makes everything simpler. But by doing this, you have all access to all 18 items. Not on top, not on bottom, while still having only using glass fiber cables which hold up to a maximum of eight channels six for the actual storages one for the interface and then one for the storage for the next line and i also seen videos on how it drains so much power this for one series in it oh, that's not a very good one right here each series does 17.48 RF per tick for each row, each uh, sub sub network. There you go. And all three of these with the access terminal is a total of 56 RF per tick. I mean, that's not really anything. A magmatic dynamo from thermal expansion will easily supply that. But go on. Now. I mean, it's really simple. All it is is, uh, for the explanation part, all it is is the interface, the storage bus sees that this whole thing is one chest due to this interface, and it um, it can take out and put in items accordingly. And since these are deep storage units, they can only accept one item, so it will put in. For instance, this chest, if it's a dirt, it'll put it into it. But if it's not an item out of any of these six deep storage units, it goes on to, through this storage bus and to here. And same thing, and so on and so forth. And then it can take out and go backwards. So right here is some um, jungle wood planks. This storage bus sees that the chest, quote-unquote chest, has jungle wood planks and this storage bus sees that this one has that this chest uh, it gets a little confusing but it's simple trust me has jungle wood planks and keeps going back until you get to the main thing jungle wood take this out and this no longer has any right. oh it's a really simple thing, and this is the most compact way. There is no extra air blocks. It's completely packed. And you don't need any dense fiber cable, or, well, dense cable at all, which is another bonus for earlier game. Um, but I said, and you can, you don't have to use deep storage units, you can use the storage drives, that works fine. You can use regular chests, although you're going to have to switch between chest and trap chests. But you can use any storage. But I recommend deep storage units mainly because, oh, okay, that's gone. If you use chest, and you could just do this for instance, we'll say that this has oak wood planks, because that was what was in that. The storage unit, my bad. And these has the cables. As you can see here, you still have the planks. Take them out. They're no longer in there. Uh, place them in. They're back in there. Uh, ignore that part. Um, you have the glass fiber cables. Take them out. They're no longer in there. Put them in, and they're not back in there. Well, that's because 
when this is going through, it checks certain inventories and it sees that this has room, so it puts in here. Which is all good. And you can make sure by going to this storage bus that goes onto the next line is set to a lower priority. That will make sure that this set, this series, will get the sub network. There we go. Gets filled up first before going on to the next one, which is a great thing. So now I've got here. But let's say that um, we get all this filled up. Right there. So now this entire series is filled full. This entire sub network is full. And so the next place to go is in this chest. We can see that here by putting cables in there and it winding up in there. But all of a sudden, this chest in, ends up with some more space. You put more cables in there. Cables wind up in here and not in here. And for me, who likes everything in one place, everything of one type in one place, it bothers because it taking up more space that way. Even if there's only half as much in there, it will still go up to this top chest first. And there's no really way around that. Unless you have these deep storage units, but, or something similar. I know there's like a quantum chest that does like that, I don't know. But there you go. And it's a real simple build. By the way, this is the end of the episode if you want. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to show, but if you want to see how to do it, exactly how to set it up, uh, here's why I'm doing it now. You set up your storage devices. Uh, storage bus. And it face on. You put the storage buses on there. Put the cables on there. More. Uh, storage. Ooh, a little turbulence. More storage buses. You need an interface on the side that um, your entry point into the sur Super Storm Drive. And then a storage bus to go onto the next sub network. To go down in networks, to go up in networks, if that helps some of you. And that's pretty much one series. Now, there is the issue where you had to power it, obviously. So, glass fiber cable. And then that's it. Then, that the glass fiber cable separates the data, but allows power to be shared. So by going through here, uh, storage bus and cable. Network, and let's give this thing some power. Oh, uh, that's not going to work. There we go. And now it's all working. So put the cables in there. Uh, cables. Torch fiber. And emmy terminals. Why not? Look in here, they're all there. And if you want, you just add more of these here, and then another, and another, and another. So on and so forth. Just a couple things to keep in mind that the storage bus and interface will keep the two different cables away from each other, from two different networks, because it's all about separating the networks. In the middle one, that's where you can use this quartz fiber quartz fiber they will connect but it's fine because it's only sharing uh, power but right here you have to either use a micro part like a cover or use something from AE called the cable anchor you just click on to the cable and then they won't connect at all and that's all you have to know, remember. It's not all that expensive per net sub-network. It is very compact, and it just 
looks so much better than any other way. Oh, and you don't need dense, fire, dense cables. So, saving you on a lot of resources, and that is just great. This is Mr. Poptopolis, and I'll see you next time. Okay, and I made a mistake. With this setup, and yes, this is a different day, as you can tell, close to Christmas. But the problem with this, and that's, there's only one issue, and that's what makes it different from the regular Super Store Drive, is that the, the storage devices cannot be any drives. It cannot be the ME drive, it cannot be the chest, anything uh, applied in checks, it can't be. Otherwise, as you can see, like right here, two different lines will touch and make it not work because of channels. Because then it'll, they'll both connect and then it'll say there's more channels than it can be on a regular network. So if you're going to do it like this, which I recommend you're doing, you're going to have to do something with... Let me get rid of this. Different mod, different mod. Right. So if you're going to go with something like this, you have to use deep storage units or chests or anything that has their own uh, their own thing, their own storage capacity capabilities. There you go. So and the other thing is, if it was to work with the ME drives, then you'll still not be able to look inside of the drives themselves. You can't see the actual 16K storage drives like Soren would normally do. But I don't see how that's really a problem. So this way it works. It's cheap. It's very reliable. And, well, it's reliable because it uses deep storage units. So these things probably won't ever fill up. If they do, you you will greatly surprise me. Even to me. But yeah, that's the only difference. I recommend doing this way. If you have the ender pearls and all that to make these storage units, which if you don't, then you're either not using playing with a lot of mods or you're not doing something right. <laughs> but this this is a great way. I recommend this to anyone trying to do AE or trying to do a great storage system. Well, I'll see you guys next time.